You know, the uproar this week in city council chambers uh, slimmed the chances that the dollar house bill proposed by city council president Nick Mosby ever passes. Yeah, but the conversation continues surrounding what options the city has going forward. Let's go to the newsroom right now. WMAR 2 News Kendall Green's working this story today. And Kendall, where do we go from here? Hey, good evening, Jamie and Kelly. Some have completely walked away from the idea of dollar houses. Others still believe that the bill's intent to make purchasing a home more affordable. But the question remains how the city goes about getting these homes filled and getting the blight eliminated. The revamped dollar house bill proposed by Council President Nick Mosby used decades ago for Councilman Robert Stokes well, could produce positive results. To give those persons who are renters an opportunity to me to become home homeowners here in the city. Stokes is in favor of offering homes for a dollar for city residents. For many, the hurdles to home ownership in Baltimore are too high to clear and offering a more guaranteed avenue is a priority for Stokes. Because if people can pay $1,200 or more for rent, that means they can get a mortgage and be homeowners. But questions still loom on the other side regarding its potential scale and impact. The dollar house program, the way that it's written at the moment, will only count, will only work on 300 properties, not the 15,000 that we need. So I'm thinking about scale and impact. The ultimate priority of the city is to get rid of vacant properties through rehab or demolition and to ensure those who need housing have it. We disagree on how we're going to get there and what we're going to do first. Uh, and so I think at some point we can meld all of this together. But my sense of urgency is let's take our strategies to scale and get the most done that we can now. Get these houses into pe people's hands that will you know, do something with them. Ramos's proposed bill creates a separate court docket set aside for housing to expedite the process of foreclosing on unkept homes through penalizing owners financially. The first thing that has to happen is that the city has to get the properties. Stokes says he'd like to see those properties be transformed into home ownership, but those who desire that don't necessarily have the credit to secure a loan. Because if we keep using the, your credit score, it's not going to work. That's why I'm willing to sit down with the banks and see if they're willing to come up with a some new mortgage products and not use people just their uh, credit score, but use how they pay their bills on time. While the fate of the dollar house deal is still slim, but uncertain, the alternative strategy isn't. We're not deadlocked on the main, on the, the foreclosure strategy because that's going to move forward because that's already starting to move forward. Uh, so I, I hear the sense of urgency and I think that it's important, but we're, what we're doing is building the infrastructure to make this happen. Now, the Department of Housing and Community Development, who would ultimately oversee the program, stands by his opposition of dollar houses legislation. Now, many noting their concerns around funding it. Kelly?